Today we're in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we're gonna take you around to all these fun things they have over here. If your family is looking for a fun day trip, Milwaukee, Wisconsin is our go-to place. Here's an interesting fact. It's actually the second largest city on Lake Michigan shore, right behind our hometown, Chicago. In this video, we're gonna rank all the places we went to, so let's go. Welcome back, Crackles crew. You have Carl here. If you're not familiar with our channel, we're a family travel vlog. We love to go to local spots, tourist attractions, and weird and wacky places. So, Rosalie and I have some time to kill while Melissa and Addison have an event here in Milwaukee. So, we're just trying to enjoy what Milwaukee has to offer. And I checked out my favorite app for roadside attraction, which is Roadside America, and we found something else. There's supposed to be ladybugs in a building. Let's see what exactly this is. Where is it? There. Look, there they are. There's one, two, three ladybugs. It's on top of the Milwaukee building. I have never seen a ladybug on a building in my life. Actually, I don't think I've seen anything on top of a building, on, like, on the side especially. Here's a better view right across the street. So if you want to take a picture of a ladybug building, it's got to make sure you go across the street here. When you're in Milwaukee, make sure to check out Sprecher's Brewery. They have the best root beer and sodas. This is the home of Milwaukee's original craft brewery. While you're here, make sure to check out the brewery tour. There you can find about the history, check out the brew house, and even the production line. And our favorite part is being able to sample all the craft sodas. But no worry, you can sample all the craft beers also. Okay, so we have root beer, grape. This is Dr. Sprecher, which is like Dr. Pepper, orange soda, and another root beer. They have the best root beer here because they use Milwaukee honey, so it tastes so good. My favorite probably just has to be the root beer. It is very good. Least favorite, probably the Dr. Sprecher. Some people like it. I just think it's kind of bland and it does not taste like Dr. Pepper. So if you're thinking that, it does not taste like that. And before we left, we made sure to stock up. It's so much cheaper over here. Look, there's beautiful flowers over here. But look at this, there's also beautiful flowers on the buildings. I think more towns need to do things similar to this. Add a little personality to the city. One of our favorite things to do here is take a nice little stroll at the river walk. The scenery is so beautiful, and two, there's all this great artwork. And very first thing we're gonna go to is my buddy Franz Fonz! So the show Happy Days is probably the first thing I watched on television, seeing the Fonz. So it was really cool and dude, this is a manly man. So when you're here in Milwaukee, make sure to look up because there's artwork all over the place. So one of them is Dream of the Fishes for Aurora. It's right over here. Better not be on the bridge, you know why? Why? So the bridge just goes up because what that'll happen is a big boat wants to get through. How could they go on that Look, bridge? so now they fit. Is that cool? And we are headed to the Bobblehead Hall of Fame. We have about 7,000 bobbleheads here at the museum. We have about 4,000 more in storage. To be honest, that number's probably higher, but I can safely tell you that it's at least 7,000 and at least 4,000. They really make things fun for kids. They can do a scavenger hunt and even look for Waldo and extra points if you see the Santos Chronicles bobblehead there. Today we're here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we're gonna go get food at the public market. So, let's go. If you're hungry, this is the place you need to go to. It is the most unique downtown food destination. Right when you walk in, you see several food vendors here, and there's so much, I don't even know where to start. This market opened in 2005, and when you look to your left and to your right, you can see they're greatly inspired by Pike's Place Market in Seattle, Washington. And they have an oyster bar, seafood place. This place has everything. So when you get here, probably one of the best things you can do is just take a look, go around, and find out what the place you want, and then everybody can get whatever they want. I think the barbecue place is calling my name. So when you get out here, 
there's a bunch of tables where you can eat. I was a little worried. I know they have some eating place in the top, but these little bunches make it so much easier, especially on a nice day like today. So the Milwaukee Public Market uh, kind of reminds me of urban space in downtown Chicago. So it's like one of those places where you know you have a bunch of different choices of like foods that you can choose from. What'd you guys get? Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese, your favorite? What, what did you end up eating? BLT, panini. Oh, I got a salad with grilled chicken. But for me, I got the four spare ribs and some fries. So excited, I'm so hungry right now. So dad, he was really excited to eat his ribs, but as you can see here, there's a mom tax and even an Addison tax. Oh, oh, oh my God. Hey, my really good. So if you're here in Milwaukee, one of the best places to go is a safe house. So what exactly is a safe house? It's a spy themed restaurant. It's really hard to find, even with directions. It's not labeled anywhere, so you gotta know. So keep watching the video. So when you're traveling around here looking for it, here's what you need to look for. You need to look for a flag, a red awning, and what it's gonna be called is the International Export LTD. So the one thing is when you get in here, you're gonna need a password, but if you don't know it, it's okay. They just make you do something silly to prove that you are worthy to go in. Whoa, come on, Rosalie, go up there. What's that? So all the menu items are spy themed. All right, I think I'm gonna get the Mr. Stamper BLT. Like a good spy, make sure you explore every nook and cranny of this place. Uh-oh. Okay, how about... All right, this is closing. Uh oh, what is this? Can't, can't get out that way. Oh, it's hot. This is not a good place for a person that's claustrophobic, no, Carl. Pick up the tongue. Provide payment. No, fine. Hold on, hold on, let me Seven, four, six. What is this? Dude, oh. wait, all of our stuff is inside. Let's go. Oh. Uh, ah, I'm getting splashed. Uh, babe, I don't think we can go back. Well, that's why I said. If you want to see what else we found at the safe house, click the end card video below.